So, uh, you are James Weeks running for U.S. Senate on the Libertarian Banner. Um, so, tell us about uh, about you, James. Well, we were born in Michigan. We lived in just pretty much the same county my whole life, except for a few years. Uh, work in IT. And I hate to go. You love your IT job? Yeah, it's all right. <laughs> Always been doing work with computers. So. Now, I saw, I, I wish I had been in Florida when, you know, when everybody was booing at you for your striptease act. I mean... Even Hustler and Penthouse weren't invited. <laughs> they should have been. They should have been. <laughs> or Playboy. Yep. You know? So, um, but, uh, so the thing is, um, so what do you think is um, the reason why you were truly banned? Well, my activism has always pissed off the, you know, the old farts in the park. You know, they've always been mad at me and wanted me to be kicked out. You know, I, when I protested the 2012 election, you know, when Gary Johnson was excluded from the ballot, they got mad at me for protesting that. You know, when Gary Johnson was, you know, kicked right off the ballot in Michigan, I protested the election. And they got mad at me for doing that. So you did protest the whole Gary Johnson... No, 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 I'm talking about in 2012. 2012. I'm starting, you know, they got mad at me for that. You know, the, over, when, I, when I ran for Congress and I held the This Is Fucking Bullshit rally, they wanted to kick me out for that, too. They've always wanted to kick me out of the party, the, you know, the upper crust of the party, because they don't like that my activism reaches the youth. They want the party to die or something, just be Republican Junior. But I want to bring people into the party, a bunch of youth, and rally them up with actual libertarianism. Uh, that's know, right. Uh, you know, that, that makes it now, I guess my question to you is, I'll just take eggs whenever what do you, um, <laughs> well, let's analyze what happened at the convention. Uh, did they, did, um, the word has it that you were protesting Johnson and Wells nomination. Yeah. Is that what really happened or yeah. And um, and I guess my question is what did they do you know afterwards? I mean what oh what did the part the party didn't really do shit nationally anyway. They didn't really give a shit. They wanted to kick you out well, of the convention, a number of the members. I saw the video for that. Well, yeah, some of, some of the members on the floor, but the party didn't do anything. Um, the party didn't do anything at all. Yeah. So, um, so the last, the first new LEC meeting, Jeff tried to have you reinstated for the third time in a row. Yeah. And they still didn't want you back. No, and I mean, I only got a few more months left on the sentence anyway. So, I mean, just letting me in early would be, you know, kind of like an olive branch, time off for good behavior kind of thing. But not have me come back in all pissed off, which is probably a good thing, but, you know. I thought you weren't going to be, I thought you were banned until 2018. Yeah, uh, no, no, it's, uh, the suspension will be up in uh, May. So just a few more months. Oh, so yeah. it was suspended two years from the date of the convention. Right. Right. So that would be May, I believe. So. Right. Was the um, convention in May? I'm pretty sure. Right. Yeah. So what? So you're running for U.S. Senate. What's your platform? Oh. You know, and your slogan. Arm the homeless. Arm the homeless. Arm the homeless is the slogan. Well, that's what I'm going with now. I'll probably change it up. Um, that's what I could think of when I was making the website. I was trying to think, what can I put here? Oh, arm the homeless. All right, that works. But 
Yeah, you know, the platform is definitely just you know pro freedom platform. I want to eliminate all the government bullshit. Yeah. I just want to eliminate all the government bullshit. That's pretty much it. It sums it up. Like I, well, like I was telling people when I was out collecting signatures, if government's involved in it, I want it out. That's my platform. You know what I would have done if I were running for a big national office? I would say webcams everywhere, action with <laughs> with the greatest looking chicks, you know. If I had been a libertarian porn star. <laughs> Hey, you know, you got to have some sense of humor in Definitely. this party. Um, but, uh, you know, I guess um, I guess my uh, thing is, you should have done that at the Republican convention, too. <laughs> <laughs> Probably. Uh, but uh, it was funny. So tell me, what, what, um, what are your... Um, if you are elected, uh, are you going to go up against Nancy Pelosi and uh, the likes of, um, you know, Congressman Schumer? Yeah, don't fight them. Oh yeah, because I can't stand Nancy Pelosi and Chuck yeah, Schumer. Terrible. They they're blood suckers. Yeah, they're terrible people. What about uh, like Senator Rand Paul? Would you work with him or maybe on some things? But he's terrible on a lot of yeah, he's stuff. He's terrible on a lot of stuff. So I mean, I can't really say I'd work with him. There's probably more I'd work with him on than work with you know Nancy Pelosi. But that really doesn't say much. You know, you're, you're comparing you know a. a a piece of dog shit that's been laying out for a few days to, to, know, cat, to shit. cat shit. I mean, it's still shit. I mean, it's shit is shit. Shit is shit, but I mean, one of them might stink a little bit less than the other and be in a better place. Yeah. Know, <laughs> it's shit is shit. Shit is shit. So, um, I guess uh, my next, uh, I got two more questions for you. All right. One. If you um, if if you were going up against Debbie Stabenow mm -hmm. and Kid Rock, what would you say to them live during the debate? Do you think? Well, I'd definitely call them all status. <laughs> A bunch of authoritarians. Call them out on some of their shit. Oh man. What about some? Um, uh, you know, like Stabenow. Stabenow is just, she's this biggest loser who... Yeah, she's, she's devil. Yeah, she's Satan with breasts. Yeah. So she's going to destroy, every, she's been destroying this state ever since. Mm -hmm. And people are like, oh, we love Debbie Stabenow. Yeah, until she screws you over. Yeah. Um, but, uh, you know, um, I guess you would be the first capital L libertarian senator. Um... If uh, if you get your, um, would you immediately go for repealing Obamacare? Uh, well, um, how will me? Yeah, that would be one of my goals to try and repeal all that stuff. First and foremost would be to try and introduce bills to repeal, the, you know, the vice laws that we have to end the prohibition. Definitely repeal Obamacare. I would introduce a bill to do that. And introduce bills to repeal gun control. Yes. You're my man. Especially, especially that stupid bump stock they're fucking talking about banning. I would lobby for yeah, you. I'm, I'm gonna. Uh, I would introduce a bill to undo that if they did that. I mean, the we got to get rid of it. Just introduce bills that lessen lessen government. If elected, that's what I'll do. Oh, that's cool. To repeal, not replace. Repeal. No replacing. No. And finally, one last question. If you could, if you were in a room with President Trump today, what would you say to him? I'd punch him. <laughs> you would punch him?
Uh, well, uh, well here's, uh, here's a bonus question. What would you say to Harvey Weinstein? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'd tell him he probably should have kept his dick in his pants. His wife was beautiful. His <laughs> wife is hot, isn't she? <laughs> what was he doing? <laughs> what the fuck was he thinking, man? Uh, dude, just nuts. Blew that yeah. shit. <laughs> Well, thank you very oh, much you. for James, and uh, I'm gonna. Ha we are definitely going to campaign the hell out of you. Thank you. Um, one other, um, one, one, one thing. Um, um, actually, I should throw in another bonus question here. What would you do as far as? Uh, say prostitution. No, that would, like I said, that would be one of the that would be the very the very first bill bill I plan on introducing is one to repeal all laws against drugs and prostitution. Drugs and prostitution. The very first bill. And get us the hell out of the Middle East. Yeah. Well, that would be second bill. That would be the second <laughs> bill. You got this all already <laughs> mapped out. I know you. <laughs> You got this oh, all yeah. mapped first, up. First thing, drugs and prostitution, legalize that. All right. Okay. All right. Thanks a lot, James. Thank you. You're awesome. Thank you.